Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about the assault rifle and Sector's Edge. Before I get into it, I just want to make this clear that these are my opinions and they're based on my experience using the gun. I've been using the assault rifle since the game launched, I think it's been about two weeks or so. Whenever I'm in medium to short range, I'm pretty confident with it. I'll hit most of my shots and in that range, I don't really have any trouble with the recoil. But whenever I get past medium range, that's whenever I really struggle with it. And I'm just really inconsistent with it. Past medium range, I just miss like 40% of my shots, um, especially if someone is strafing really hard or if they're moving across the screen, like left or right. I've been working on it in the firing range a lot. I've increase my sensitivity a lot and I've really been focusing on it in the games I'm playing but it's just not working out. I'm just having a lot of trouble being really consistent with it. Now having said that I think that's a good thing. Whenever you have a game mechanic or a gun that's difficult to master it raises the skill ceiling and it gives the player base something to work towards and once you finally do master that game mechanic or the recoil then it feels good because you're able to do something that a lot of other people haven't been able to do. You can definitely benefit from it whenever you do get that recoil uh, under control, but it does take a lot of work though. The AR, it's definitely one of the most popular guns in the game. I definitely see it a lot in the uh, more competitive environment and all the guys who are doing scrims and also just in normal public matches as well. It's, it's just everywhere. I think it's so widely used just because it's a little bit of a utility weapon. It can be used close range, mid range, kind of longer range, and you can have moderate success at all ranges. It kind of does like a little bit of everything. But having said that, I think there's a handful of guns that are a hard counter to the AR playstyle in Sector's Edge. And I kind of want to go over some of those guns and some of those scenarios real quick. So firstly, I want to talk about close to mid range scenarios. Two guns that stick out immediately to me are the double barrel shotgun and the SMG. Uh, both of those, in my opinion, outclass the AR whenever you're in the short range. Whenever you're playing salvage, that's a game mode that's going to force you to be in a lot of close quarters fights. Whether you're defending a point or whether you're attacking a point, eventually you're going to get in some close quarters fights. If you are playing against a shotgun user, someone who is actually decent or good at the game, they're going to be using cover, they're going to be digging, they're going to be building, then that's a very difficult fight for you if you're using an AR. Whenever you're close range, it doesn't matter how good your AR spray is if you just get shotgunned in the face. Even if it's a two tap, it's still incredibly quick. If you're trying to spray down a good shotgun user, then you're going to have a tough time because you might get a couple bullets in on the person, but then they're going to slap a wall down or they're going to dig or they're going to disengage or they're going to build stairs and jump up and get the high ground and then shotgun you. So you might be able to get a couple bullets on them, but it's not going to be enough to get the kill. And sticking in the short range, I want to talk about the SMG. The SMG, in my opinion, is another hard counter to the AR, at least in close range. The SMG is just so strong close range. The recoil is just so easy to control. You can hit fire or ADS. And for, for me, it's really easy to hit headshots if, as long as you're within that SMG range. The mobility that comes with hip firing it is just amazing. Same with the double barrel shotgun. Both of those guns, I think, just really outmaster the uh, the AR in close range. And now moving out to medium range, one gun that sticks to mind is the railgun. Really good sniper or railgun user, they're going to have the advantage over an AR user in my mind. One of the main reasons is because they can just peek shoot or jiggle peek. The sniper, they can just be in cover peek, shoot, go back into cover, peek again and shoot. And in that scenario, for the AR user, you have to have that sniper out of cover long enough for you to put, whether it's 10, 15, 20, however many bullets in them to get the kill. So you're just kind of hoping that they mess up. But if you're playing against someone else at your skill level or someone who's an actually competitive player, then they're not going to make that mistake. They're just going to jiggle peek you and headshot you. Or they might just double body shot you while you're putting bullets into them. Especially with the two time scope, it's really low zoom. So it really allows snipers to play aggressively into the mid range. You can use the four times or the two times and play long range, more of a typical sniper, which you would easily have the advantage over an AR because the AR range isn't even close to what the railgun's range would be. That's going to be a tough fight for you because then you're just hoping that they're out of cover long enough for you to get a clip of bullets into them. 
but a good player, they're not gonna make that mistake. And then next, I wanna talk about the Rocket Rifle. And this one has a lot of utility to it as well. In the medium range where the AR should be shining, I think the Rocket Rifle could still outclass it, especially if someone is really good with the gun. If you're using the Rocket Rifle, then you can jiggle peek, just like if you're using the real gun or sniper. You can peek, shoot, go back and cover, peek, shoot, go back into cover. Meanwhile, the AR user, you're trying to put a clip of bullets into the person. But if you're playing against a competitive player, again, they're not going to make that mistake. They're going to make you pay for it. And the Rocket Rifle, it just... It's so strong. It's it's just so good opening up fights because especially if you're playing salvage or if you're playing a competitive environment and the rocket rifle user, you can just hold a hallway or a doorway or any kind of a choke point and the second you see someone, just shoot it at their feet and you're gonna do 50 or 65 damage. And before that person has even put damage on you, you already have health and they either have to build or disengage or they decide to fight whenever they shouldn't and you have a huge advantage, just him one more time and then they're done. And the rocket rifle, in my opinion, is one of the best dueling weapons in the game. And it's one of my favorite weapons in the game because of that, because you can just hip fire it, you can be in the air and shoot it, like I mentioned, you can hold choke points with it and have a big advantage. It's pretty versatile. It's it's effective in my opinion, I think, at medium range. And then also, you could use it close quarters as well and just use it like a shotgun. Uh, you might blow yourself up in it, but if you're playing salvage and you're, in, you're on a point and there's just craziness going on, people are getting shot, there's grenades going off, there's going to be a lot of people that are low health or half health because they either got hit by a grenade, they either survived a fight, uh, and they haven't recovered yet. And, and you can just lob in uh, a shot from the rocket rifle and just clean up. So you can use that medium range or even short range and it's very strong. I think those are four weapons that can easily counter the AR play style. Now, this is assuming that you are playing against someone who is a decent to good player. They're gonna be using cover to their advantage. They're gonna build when appropriate and they're gonna hit their shots whenever they have the opportunity. Even though I think the AR has a lot of counters, the AR is still a great pub stomping weapon. I think that's where it really kind of shines because it doesn't do anything that amazing. But if you're playing against people that aren't using meta loadouts, they're missing shots, they're not building, they're not digging, they don't really know what they're doing, then yeah, you're going to destroy them because it has a decent amount of range and you can control the recoil if you're good with it. But in my mind, I'm kind of thinking of like the more truly competitive environment. I always want to find what's the best play style. I want to find the best weapon. I want to always give myself the advantage. So this is kind of why I'm bringing this up. It's just something that I'm always kind of thinking about whenever I'm playing and trying different play styles and guns. In closing, if you're someone like me and you're kind of struggling with it, you can definitely try some other guns and some other play styles and you can still have success. In my opinion, with some of the guns that I mentioned, you're going to have an advantage over an AR user. But at the same time, if you want to focus on controlling that AR spray and really work on it, then whenever you do master it, you'll definitely see some benefits. Like you'll definitely really pop off in some public matches for sure, especially if you're not playing against other really good players. But I think that's kind of the scenario whenever it does shine. These are just my opinions on it. It's just from my experience using it. It's just... I like just kind of having a uh, discussion on just like what weapons I think are the best for certain scenarios and it's just something I'm kind of like thinking about whenever I'm playing the game. So hopefully it might, uh, this might spark a conversation, you know, just about the meta and you know, different play styles and maybe it'll even encourage you to try something new. If you made it this far, I appreciate you uh, watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.